phone or if you would prefer to just receive emails instead of texts then you can open up a web browser on your computer and go to faithlife.com and if you don't have if you do have a faith life account this is where you would go ahead and sign in if you don't have one um, then you would uh, click right here where it says need an account get started you would click here and then you would create put your name and email address and create a password and then you would register to sign in um, I already have several accounts uh, so I'm just going to sign in with uh, one of my accounts that I made for this tutorial um, so John Long example and so once you sign in this is what you'll see you'll see um, up here at the top you'll see a search bar and it says find people groups or posts so the first thing you want to do is you want to search Yatesville in that search bar and you will see Yatesville Baptist Church and it's got a Bible with somebody's hands praying on the Bible you'll click that and this is how you're going to follow the church right here you'll see a blue button in the middle of the screen that says follow so you'll click follow after you click follow then you want to go find the prayer group uh, there's two ways to do that you can scroll down and you can look over here on the left you, uh, where it says groups prayer group that's the easiest way to click um, or if you don't see that you can come back up here and click in the search bar again and type prayer group all is one word don't put a space um, if you don't put a space then this group will pop up prayer group you click on it oops mine auto corrected so that uh, so, so I have to go and take that space back out so you can click there and then you click right here it says ask to join and so you'll click ask to join and then you have to wait until I approve it because this is a private group um, so that you can share your prayer requests and everybody on the internet can't see it um, but while you're waiting for me to approve it um, depending on what kind of computer you have however you save a bookmark now would be a good time to to click and save a bookmark for this page um, but the the web address for this page is faithlife.com slash prayer group so you can you can write that down faithlife.com forward slash prayer group and so you'll make you a bookmark or or save it to the desktop or save this page um, and you'll come back to this page now I'm going to go ahead and approve it on my phone because I need to show you how to update your notification preferences um, and that's the most that's the most important part of the video so I just clicked approve so what I'll do is I'll refresh the page now that I've been approved and you can see um, that it's, you can now have access to the the group now I'm gonna scroll down I have uh, I have covered up uh, the center of the screen because this this video is going to YouTube and I don't want actual prayer requests showing up on YouTube so I've kind of blank I put a blank picture on the on the center of the screen but if you'll scroll down on the left side where you see activity calendar members group chat if you keep looking down you'll see a bell icon and you'll see what says notification preferences so you'll click there on the left side that notification preferences and that will take you to this page this is where it says that it will notify you the default is it will notify you once a day but what I want you to do is click where it says balanced recommended click that menu and scroll down and click all in once you click all in 
then anytime somebody posts a prayer request to the group or if you post a prayer request to a group then you'll be notified everyone will be notified immediately so you want to be notified immediately especially when somebody per posts an urgent prayer and they want everybody to pray uh, quickly um, change that notification preference to all in and that that should be it uh, you don't have to click save or anything because it automatically saves when you change it if you have any questions or uh, can't quite can't quite figure it out um, call me text me uh, send me an email and I'll do my best to, to help you out